Are you looking for ideas what to build in your survival world? Well then you've come to the right video. I have made over 10 unique builds, ranging from survival bases, nether portals, statues and more. Let's start with one of my favorite builds that I've made in the past months, a greenhouse. It's a great addition for every survival world. The Victorian inspired look is a real eye catcher. The build is made out of spruce, loose stained glass and the foundation is made out of all kind of stone blocks. I love the detailing on the windows. As you can see I used a lot of spruce trapdoors. With that I've kinda made vertical spruce slabs. The windows look much more interesting with that technique. I made the foundation slightly overgrown by adding mossy stone blocks leaves, flowers, vines and other plants. The roof also has a classic greenhouse look with its giant windows. But now let's go inside. The highlight of the build is this beautiful cherry blossom tree, surrounded by some water and plants. I made the leaves with all kind of pink blocks, but if you play in 1.20 you can use the new cherry blossom leaves. As you can see I didn't plant any crops. I've made a greenhouse only for decoration, but of course you can also plant food in here. The greenhouse has four beds, all with different kind of plants and trees. The beds are simply made out of dirt, trapdoors and ladders. You can fill them with everything you like, from food to your own custom plants. I also made a big flower pot with granite stairs, slabs and walls. Then I built a custom tree inside with spruce fans and spruce leaves. The floor is made out of cobble, mossy cobblestone and dry coral blocks. The path goes from one door to the other around the tree. I also placed some leaves hanging from the roof. I will be doing a full tutorial for this build in the coming days. Let me know if you want one for any other builds. Next up is this cozy little treehouse. It's actually a very simple build. We start by building the stem. I used oak logs and triple spruce logs. The entrance has a circular shape with an oak door. You can go up by using ladders. The main part of the build is this platform. It has windows all the way around, so you will have a great view on all sides. From there are hanging several lanterns and this decorative storage platform. The roof is entirely made out of leaves. You can place them randomly so it looks as organic and natural as possible. Going inside you will notice this cozy atmosphere. It is a small room with two beds, a crafting area, a small flower bed where you can plant berries and a chair and table where you can read books. On the top is also some place for storage. Overall a very cozy house that you can build anywhere you like. Next up is this huge desert nether portal. It is made out of four pillars with two larger ones connecting the nether portal in the middle. The portal is made out of sandstone, smooth sandstone and chisel sandstone. The orange parts are made out of acacia planks and trapdoors. And on the bottom and top I used red sandstone blocks. To get a bit more color and contrast into the build, I placed some acacia leaves around the left and right pillars. I think it really adds a lot to the build. On the top of the four pillars I placed campfires to get a smoking effect. The pillars are connected with these cool decorative sandstone blocks. All the stairs and slabs placed in the right order would be making a unique look. You don't need to build this portal in the desert. You can build it anywhere. It's a magical portal that spends life to the dry desert. Next I made this beautiful medieval house, perfect for a medieval village. The foundation is simply made out of stone bricks, cobblestone and polished andesite in the corners. I also placed some decorations like plants and other blocks around the house. Above the entrance is a little roof made out of spruce and deep slate blocks. The walls have a very interesting texture with blocks like diorite and birch logs that are usually not very popular among the community. But here I think they look really nice. The structure is made out of sprippled spruce blocks and for more detail I used trapdoors and signs to get a stripe. On the side of the house is a simple chimney made out of all kind of stone blocks. But of course you can use any block that you like. Bricks and granite are also really great for a chimney. Below some windows are also flower pots, made out of dirt and oak trapdoors. You can place there your favorite flowers. Going inside we have this cozy area, with a red and orange carpet on the floor, a bookshelf in the back and a little sofa in the plant. When we go upstairs we see a bedroom with some decorations and a cool carpet. The next room is very decorative. It has a simple enchanting area that also has some chests for storage. Going up you even have more storage, with many chests, some furnaces and a crafting area. Overall a very cozy house that you can make in many different variations. Next up is this big fountain. It is a basic design with three fountain pools. The fountain is made out of stone bricks and mossy stone bricks. I also use deep slate slabs to get some more contrast. The bottom pool also has some cobble and mossy cobblestone blocks in the floor. And since the platform is a bit old and not cleaned very often, there is a lot of seagrass and lily pads in the pool. From the top pool are falling four waterfalls. 
and from here to the bottom are following eight waterfalls. The design will look great in a village or before the entrance of a castle. You can build a path around a fountain like I did and maybe some benches and trees. With all that it is a really cool place to relax. Next is this giant overgrown enderman statue. It's very tall and looks amazing from far away. If you are often wandering around and can't find your village, you should build a statue so you can easily find your village. The statue is made out of deep slate and mud and the eyes are made out of pink wool and purple concrete. To get an overgrown look, I replaced some blocks with mossy blocks on the feet, shoulders and the head. I also placed grass, leaves and flowers on the moss blocks to make it even more overgrown. I then planted some oak trees on the head and on the side of the shoulders. I think it looks really cool. The proportions of the build are one to one, just like a normal enderman. One pixel is one block. It has enough space for a small secret base inside. So if you have an elytra, you can easily get access to the statue. Next up is the storage room. We start with the outside. It is a very simple entrance, made out of spruce planks, blocks and barrels. But of course you can also just build a room underground. Just connect it with stairs or ladders. Going inside you will see a lot of chests. You will definitely have enough storage to sort all your blocks and items. The floor is made out of deep slate and polished underside. Below the chest is closed stone, so the room gets enough light. There are also some decorative carpets with crafting tables in them, so you get easy access to craft everywhere in the room. I especially like the roof. I think the copper blocks look great. There are also some lanterns and leaves hanging from there, so the room gets a really cozy atmosphere. As you probably already have noticed before, the highlight of the build is this beautiful aquarium. It has all kinds of corals and underwater plants in it. You can fill it with your favorite fish or with axolotl. It's a great build if you need more storage. You can build it below your house or in a hill, like I did. Next up is this cool looking watchtower. It looks great anywhere actually. You can build it in a forest, on top of a mountain or in a village. It's tall enough so you will get a great view up there. The foundation is made out of all kind of stone bricks and cobblestone. The entrance is made out of spruce and dark oak wood and has a little roof. Around the build I also placed some small decorations like barrels and crafting tables. I made the walls out of spruce planks, scribbled spruce logs and the corners are made out of scribbled dark oak blocks. I used spruce fences and spruce gates to get this great decorative look. And the windows are made out of oak fences. I think it looks much better than glass planes in this tower. Other details for the walls are also trapdoors and signs and at the corners some stone buttons. To get some more color in the build I used mangrove planks here so it doesn't look too boring. The roof is made out of two different kinds of deep slate blocks and has a little flag on top. From here you get a really great view. In the inside are different floors, all connected with these stairs. I put some basic decorations everywhere, like some barrels and chests, beds, armor stands and more. Next up we are going to the small castle. It looks especially great on a hill or on a mountain. It is entirely made out of stone bricks, polished andesite and cobblestone at the bottom. The building is made out of two parts, the main building and the tower at the back. I used red and orange stained glass for the windows. At the sides I also used some spruce elements above and below. The front of the building has an entrance with a big door, three windows and one circular window at the top. The roof is made out of blackstone and has some walls, fences and steps for detail. The tower windows are made out of fences, fence gates and trap doors. At the top is also a nice flag. Going inside we have the small drone room with a small and cozy throne, a carpet and many candles. Behind the throne is a very tiny room with a few chests. And with the next door on the side we get access to the tower. Going up we are above the throne room. All the windows make the room very cozy. And to get more light in there, there are also some candles all over the room. Going up the tower we have another small room. You can place there all kind of stuff that you need for survival. Next up is a small marketplace with four market stalls, a villager statue, flower beds and some benches and tables. The market stalls have a very great and compact design. It is built with spruce stairs, slabs, fences, fence gates and spruce trap doors. And to get some color I use wool for the roof. You can build different market stalls with different colored wool. And to get some more details I also placed some cool banners hanging from the roof. Every market stall has a different theme, like a bakery, armor shop, potion shop and flower shop. It's a very great addition for your village. And you can try the villagers there. I hope you got some inspiration with all these build ideas. I have made tutorials for some of the builds. 
so if you want to build it, check out my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.